So a focus on scaffolding then, safe working. It's always been a challenge. So first of all, we'll talk about how we shouldn't do it, and then we'll move on perhaps on how we, sh we should do it. All too often we see this on the high streets around the UK, uh, people working in an unsafe manner, very high risk, work at height, carrying equipment. That was in central London about two weeks ago, right outside the UK CG offices while a safety committee was going on. <laughs> so that was good. That's my personal favourite. Risk assess that one if you would. They don't have to be spectacular photographs here. You can see a, a scaffold that collapsed in the Yorkshire area, South Yorkshire, and a fairly small scaffold. The guy had obviously been roof, working on the roof, uh, to which he very quickly wasn't working on the roof and ended up uh, in the bushes there on the right-hand side. And the scaffold contractor was prosecuted because his scaffolders were not competent, so not competent to do the job. So they were prosecuted and a prohibition notice was placed upon the business. Uh, and you can see the risk there, obviously beneath the scaffold that's collapsed, there's a, a children's tricycle there. So uh, the gentleman that was on the scaffold was injured. Obviously, he ended up in the bushes, but it could have been a lot worse. And you'd think that the contractor would learn the lesson from that, wouldn't you? You'd think that. But no, uh, the contractor at a later date breached the improvement notice placed on them by the HSE 